All right, hello everyone. Eric Marks here again with FindingMiddleEarth.com, and today I'm bringing you part three of my new free YouTube series, Photoshop Made Easy. Uh, I'm glad that you guys are loving this. I'm getting a lot of good positive feedback, uh, so just know that there will be many more of these coming. Uh, I, I want to provide a, this free way to make a lot of you much less scared of Photoshop. Um, you know, I have premium tutorials on my website that uh, definitely start at a beginner's level and go up to advanced, but I want you guys to have a very basic knowledge of Photoshop before you think about buying some of my premium stuff. I just wanna make this free so that we can get all of you much more acquainted and much more friendly with a basic knowledge of the Photoshop interface so that it's not so confusing. Because if I can get you here where you have this basic knowledge, you'll be much less scared in the future to take a look at some of uh, you know my premium tutorials and some of your own you know other photographers' tutorials and stuff on uh, blending and and things like HDR and you know crazy advanced stuff using luminosity masks. You'll be much less scared uh, to do stuff like that in the future if you have a basic knowledge of the Photoshop interface. Okay. So before we get started, if you guys head over to my website at FindingMiddleEarth.com, you click the big subscribe button in the top right, uh, you'll get access to a free 45 minute video on my landscape photography gear. I go through my camera bags, I think three or four camera bags. I talk about some of my favorite landscape photography lenses to use, stuff in my bag and outside of my bag that I use, all that good stuff, and that is also completely free as well. Okay, so uh, today we're gonna be talking about dodging and burning, which is a very effective way uh, to enhance the light in your photography. So uh, I'm gonna try to make all these series a very quick tips. Um, so quickly, if you don't know what dodging and burning is, Okay, it's basically creating uh, more of a contrast and more of a more of a dynamic effect between the light and the shadow. It's kind of enhancing the fall off between uh, separating where the light and the shadow meet each other. So let me uh, zoom in on this image here. Okay, let's take a look at this. So if you can see uh, where naturally some of the light, okay, is hitting this image, you can see some of the light here is kind of kissing this tree line, and then right about here the light falls off and it falls into shadow. And it's creating this line kind of up the tree right here. This kind of invisible line of where the shadow and the light meet each other. Okay, and then right about here, this shadow falls off and there's light on this hill up here. Okay, and that happens pretty consistently all throughout this tree line. And then up here, this dirt road is getting kissed with a lot of light from the sun back here. Okay, but then right about here, you can see there's a line of, of shadow. And there's th this happens all throughout the photo. So what's nice is, uh, Photos are two-dimensional, right? And there's, there's nothing we can do about that. But the more that we enhance the light and enhance the contrast and use these dodging and burning tools to give it more of a three-dimensional effect, uh, the more interesting this photo becomes to look at. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into how uh, to do this quickly, okay? So the best way, most effective way to dodge and burn, in my opinion, okay, you've probably seen the dodge and burn tool over here in Photoshop. Uh, not a big fan of those. Those can end up affecting the color and they have these kind of preset exposure level so I'll show you how to do uh, the best way to dodge and burn so let's go ahead hold option and click the new layer icon down here okay you can name the layer whatever you want I'll just name it D and B uh, we'll take the mode from normal to overlay and click this box here this is fill with uh, neutral 50% gray Okay, so we'll do that for now. Uh, and I'm gonna show you two ways to dodge and burn. So this is a way dodging and burning with luminosity, and then I'll show you a new way to dodge and burn with color, okay? So this is just the basic way to dodge and burn here. If you hit B on your on your keyboard to access your brush, and you come over here and set your foreground color to white, which by the way, you can toggle back and forth between these two by hitting X on the keyboard. So I hit X and it goes to black, you hit X and it goes to white. All right, so when we're painting with white, we're dodging, which means we're adding luminosity. And when we're uh, painting with black here, we're burning. So we're kind of enhancing the darkness and the shadows. So let's take a look at what that does here, okay? I'm gonna make sure my opacity is real low, like 10, maybe 15%, something, somewhere around there, okay? And we'll make my brush just kind of a small size. And I'll just start following where the light is hitting this image, okay? And you can see what it's doing already. It's just kind of enhancing where the light is hitting. So let's make the brush a little bigger and kind of go across this area. Make the brush even bigger and just kind of kiss that area. And you guys get the idea pretty quickly, I think. That I'm just kind of following where the light is already naturally hitting uh, the places in this image. Okay, so we'll just do some, some over here. 
Uh, there's a little patch of grass here that could use some. Okay, this little tips of the trees back here. Um, obviously, there's some trees over here that could use it. I'm not going to do this whole image because I'm sure you guys kind of get the idea of what I'm doing here. Okay, and then I'm going to hit X on my keyboard to get to the black, which is burning. And now we're going to go and burn. And, and the way you burn is instead of just following the light, you follow where the light falls off and you create lines and patterns that are already there. So right here, the light falls off into shadow. So I'm going to burn this line. Okay, all the way down until the actual shadow stops. So right here, there's another little line that I'm going to burn. And here, the line. And what I mean by the line is I'm, I'm watching where the tree line of shadow falls off and starts becoming uh, light again. And I want to enhance all those areas. Okay, so here's one here. There's a nice little line of shadow. Okay, here's one here. Uh, there's one right here. Okay, and you can always um, lower the opacity on this layer, like the master opacity, and blend it in, which I always do. So we already dodged this road, but I'm going to burn the very edge of the road where the bottoms of the trees are, because that'll just really shape the road. Okay, we'll do that, and then we'll zoom out a little bit. We'll come over here for a second, and we'll maybe uh, burn some of this. Why not? Uh, we'll burn some of this back here because there's no light hitting that right now. Okay, and then we'll go back to dodge for a second. Maybe we'll dodge a little bit of the house, a little bit of the valley over here where the house is sitting. Uh, we'll do a little bit more dodging here. Okay, so let's hit Command-0 to get back to a full view, and we'll lower the opacity. Actually, I'm not going to lower the opacity yet because I want you to see what it did. So let's do a before and after just so you can see what we just did. Before, after, before, after. Okay, now let's ease it in with the opacity. Let's take it down to maybe 60%. And I want to zoom in, and I want you to pay attention to the valley. I want you to look at the shapes that we created with light. We just shaped the mountains with light. Watch this. Before, after, before, after, before, and after. So we really enhance those lines, the curves that are running through the trees where the light falls off and meets the, the shadow. Uh, dodging and burning is basically creating a separation between those two, which adds a great contrast, a great 3D effect to the image, and there you go. So now, uh, I'm going to show you how to dodge and burn with color, okay? So let's just keep this dodging and burning okay, intact, okay? Let's maybe uh, lower the opacity even further. Let's say let's lower it to 35%, okay? And then we're going to create a new layer, but this time we're not going to hold option. We're just going to create a new blank layer, all right? And we're going to hold B, on, or we're going to hit B on the keyboard to get to our brush. But this time we're going to hold option. It's going to bring up this little dropper, and we're going to we're going to choose a color. So let's choose a golden tone color. Let's choose let's just choose the color that's on the road right now. So look what that did. It changed my white foreground color from white to this new golden tone color. And you can pick any color you want. If you click this box, it'll bring up a whole color uh, picker here where you can pick exactly what tone you want. So if you want it a little warmer, you can do that. If you want it a little darker, you can do that. So we'll just keep it around there, okay? And now when I dodge and burn, okay, I'm going to be dodging with that color so look at that I'm actually dodging with this color now it looks a little funky because we forgot to do the blending mode so let's do the blending mode to overlay there we go and we're just adding in more dodging but we're doing it with uh, the golden tone so I just I would call this I guess color dodging why not we'll just we'll just call it color dodging so now I'm enhancing the light even more in certain places where the Sun is really harsh just accentuating the color tones of that dodging. How cool is that? We're actually able to specifically pick the tone that we want to paint with. I love that. And we don't really need to do any burning because I'm not going to burn with color, even though you can if you wanted to add like a slight blue hue to the shadows in certain images, which, you know, kind of like a create kind of a split toning effect. You could do that. Um, okay, so, you know, I just wanted to give you that example. So let's, uh, I don't know, we'll dodge a little bit more here. Maybe a little bit more of this, some of this. Okay, and we'll just ease that opacity back as well. It looks like the before and after of that. Before, after, before, after. Let me zoom in to the road so you can specifically see what we did. Before, after, before, after. So it's already got the dodging on there, but we did a little bit more dodging with the color. Look at this tree line back here. Before, after, before, after. Super subtle, but super powerful, because now we have that great color.
Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, part three, another episode here of Photoshop Made Easy, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you would like to find out more about me and how you can improve your photography, please check out my premium tutorials at findingmiddleearth.com slash store.